All right. This is where I'm leaving in the Bronx, Harbor Freight. Can you see that? And I'm going to show you what we got from Harbor Freight. Got this machete. Got a machete. News yeah. To cut people up. Okay, but just put your foot like this on the back of the wheel, Cody. Put your foot on the back of the wheel. Thank and you. We got the thing what Michael Meyer uses, the hunting knife for protection. Yeah, like, so look I'm at the knife compared to, to you. Yeah, that's a big knife. Then we got we got the machete, the knife. We got, got a the, new thing of duct tape. We got some microfiber cloths. Yep, microfiber. Got, the, got gloves. the gloves. Go ahead, hold the gloves. The gloves. How many gloves are those? How many packs? How many in the in the gloves? Three. All right, and we got some disposable gloves as well. And then we move. To the and then we got thing. we got the key to the city Crow right bar. here. Crow ball. You need this to break into stuff if there's like something in the, in the no like not, a doorway or something a doorway we go and click it and now here goes this to open up like hydrants and stuff yeah we got to open up a hydrant or something like that we got that and, and then now we get the big boy yeah we got the big 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 hold that cody i got the cart i got the cart yes. look that compared to your body put it up to the floor Look at that. So that's what I call the key to the city for real. So I so don't what we do with this. So say it is a lot. Uh-uh uh uh. Look, the, you're gonna scratch the bottom of it. Come on. I might be returning that. I might be returning that in a month. Can you stop and listen to your father when I say stop? All right. Well I gotta I gotta put all this stuff away. I just went to the storage unit and got out some chairs just in case we want to sit on the balcony and go downstairs. We have somewhere to sit in case, you know, there's nothing, there's not a lot of movement going on. So, um, we got some water bottles that we're going to fill up with water to have as backup water. So, we're kind of trying to prepare. Um, I also got this out of storage, which is a inverter, power inverter. I have a another storage unit where I have um, some solar panels and I'm gonna go get those solar panels in the next day or so so we're gonna get the solar panels just to have you know just in case you know what happens if the grid goes down I don't know I'm not really afraid but prepare for being prepared is kind of cool so Cody can you do me a favor can you reach in there grab that little water bottle back there right here look son right there Pull that water bottle out and let's put this in place of what that in that place. Yeah, in this area here. So let's move this. Yeah, let's move this out the way. That's good. That's good. And just put this big one there. Good job. Got the key to the city. I keep calling that the key to the city. It and so is. <laughs> it is what it is. Go ahead. Go for it. Push it all the way in, all the way to the back. Lift it up. Yeah, there we go. Strong boy. Is it going all the way? Let I me see. Plan, you have a plan? Yeah. That's it. No, you don't have. All right, that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. Can I get Cody? Give me a pack on the back. Huh? They have the gloves in there? Yeah, they got tons of them. Tons of them. A lot of gloves. Okay. All sizes. And look. On the, they got a cart over there. They're in the big. They're in the boxes too. If you need them in the box, they're over there in the box. All right, bless. Bullet, bullet, bless, bless. Booyaka shot. So now we are about to leave and um, hunker down for the next couple. Couple. You know, I say things like this virus is not real. And I say that this is a hoax. And you can shut my city down and you can kill a bunch of people and that won't change my mind. But I will prepare and I will get my stuff in order. And I will be thinking about my family. I got a little bit of cash. 
out of the bank today just so that we have something liquid to so just in case we have to move around I went to the bank and I was like give me a few of those things so that me and my family will be okay trying to make sure we have some fiat currency on us you know we do have a few vehicles I'm going to fill up the excursion with a bunch of gasoline and I'm going to fill up the Silverado with gasoline I'm going to leave them parked on the street to just keep it quiet but worst case scenario I can always siphon the gasoline from those vehicles um and then I don't think I'm gonna even move around in the Hyundai anymore. I'm gonna move around in Wifey's Toyota because it has such a small engine. So we're doing what we have to do for this situation, for this possible lockdown of the city. We don't have a lot of canned foods because you know I don't really do canned foods, but we bought the beans necessary and the pasta necessary. So if my kids want raviolis or things like that i'm not going to bust open a can if they want soup i'm not going to bust open a can i have everything that is necessary to make actual meals so i have what's necessary to make actual meals you know i have the quinoa you know i have uh the couscous i also have the ziti and i have you know i have the the best tomatoes i can find as far as canned tomatoes and peeled tomatoes so that I don't have to really worry about trying to open up a can of beans. I can make a, a I can make a can of I can make a bag of beans and it'll last us three days if we had to. You know, so that's the plan. The plan is to be proactive in a in a place like Harbor Freight allows us that opportunity. You know, to to kind of like think outside the box and prepare. And everything that you saw me buy today was like a hundred dollars. So Harbor Freight is the spot to go to. What's interesting is that Harbor Freight, everything is made in China in Harbor Freight. So I'm wondering how long will this last? A business like this after this debacle. So you ready? Yep. Let's go. Ready to go? You're going the wrong way. Oh, you're opening the door for daddy? All right, I can take that. Thank you. So, what's next? We have enough to cook meals. Actual, at least I can do two meals a day. Wifey and I could do two meals a day for the next... 30 to 40 days you know yeah. like you know we can do the waffles pancakes muffins cornbread um what do we have today for lunch oh we had um mom made us a chopped cheese and cheese fries freshly made yeah freshly made the chopped cheese that we made is not the one we ordered from the corner she used the ground beef and the seasonings and all yes. that kind of stuff and then the Italian bread. Shout out to Bravos. Oh, Bravos, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Shout it, se out. it seems like the it seems like uh the supermarkets are all fully stocked with everything. I've seen tons of trucks lined up on the 59 um on the Cross Bronx Expressway. These trucks were um carrying all food goods. So, yes, they might shut the city down, but it appears that the supermarkets will still be open. So food shouldn't be a problem. I'm just staying away from all the canned foods. I don't trust it, you know? I'm actually, I'm not trying to be funny, but I took some old t-shirts out of the storage and I'm cutting the t-shirts up and I'm gonna use that for toilet paper because I have so many t-shirts that I'm not gonna wear and all I need is a few squares. I can use it for toilet paper and just throw that away. And um, not have to put that made in China toilet tissue up against my derriere. That's funny, right? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you see, this is the kind of stuff I don't even talk to with the kids because they just don't, they just don't get it. You know? I get it, but it's weird. What but do you it's get? Saving that. It's not that, saving. Is the fact that I don't trust anything made out of China anymore. Yeah, because they have they because they can like, they can um put weird stuff in your clothes. And you can <laughs> <laughs> you just see your face. You just, like, can put weird. They could put weird um, like sprays. They could put the coronavirus in it. I don't know. They son. can go. Ooh. I don't want to find out. So I don't have a problem with jumping in the tub and washing my butt like that. I really don't. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with taking a t-shirt and making. I could probably get like twenty squares out of a t-shirt. <laughs> Anyway, you know, I have, I have a three. The, the, the teachers are like all oh, 2X, so they work well. 2X, but you, you're going to use it to... Yeah, I'll cut the t-shirt into like squares oh. and then use that at, in, instead of using the toilet, the toilet paper. paper. Even oh, though we have like seven, eight rolls in the house. Yeah. I didn't buy 32 rolls. I didn't go crazy. But the rolls that we have in the house, we already had them from a while ago. Do they have wipes in here? We can buy some. No, they don't have wipes, but we have wipes in the house. They only have like one pack left. Only one pack left? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they don't have wipes in Harbor Freight. Alrighty, thank you for uh, allowing me the opportunity to... Um, the, press the bell. No, don't do all that. It's not necessary. People going to do whatever they're going to do. They, are, they know the rules. They know how it goes. I'm not here to promote how to do it, the way to do it. I'm not... You do whatever you want to do. Because I meet up is be like, like the video, subscribe, uh, press the bell. Not everybody understands that. They have to constantly be told that. They're not the people I'm looking for. Alrighty. Let me go. I gotta take this car. Boom. Chocolate. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Okay. Bye. Can you press the button? I think it's done.